Hello everybody, it is I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome to Sam and Max Save the World. So, uh, if you guys don't know what Sam and Max is, uh, essentially they are the freelance police. Uh, you got the dog dude, his name is Sam. You got the, uh, the Lagomorph thingy. He, he's not a rabbit, he hates it when, he, when you call him rabbit. Uh, that is Max. Uh, and well, these guys are... I mean, they're... I mean, like I said, they're the freelance police, but their policing are a bit wacky, to say at the very least. Uh, this is one of Telltale's, uh, first, this is one of Telltale's first, uh, point-and-click games. And this was remade by Skunk Game, which is a company named after the main antagonist of Season 3 of the Sam Max games that Telltale made. And it's composed of former Telltale, uh, employees. So they got the right to do this game and and they remastered it. So we're, we're going to be doing the remastered version. Uh, so one thing I so one thing I should mention, uh, this is a very dialogue heavy game. So you won't be hearing much commentary from me. Like if, so, if any of the characters are speaking, I'll wait for them to finish and then I'll like respond or something like that. Just just so you just so you uh, just so you know uh, all that. But anyway, let's start with. Episode 1 here. <sighs> I remember seeing a, a, uh, a long play of this from the from the World of Long Plays, or whatever that YouTube channel is uh, that does the long plays, but I've seen the original version of this game, and... Well, I... I mean, it was definitely a good series. Definitely m up my alley. From the archives of Telltale Games. Brilliant. Up oh, there. There there they are. Sam and Max. So, uh, fun fact. This, uh, this game, Sam and Max Save the World, was supposed to be a sequel to the LucasArts game, uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road. It was supposed to be a sequel that Lucas, LucasArts was originally making a sequel to the game. It ended up getting cancelled, and then former LucasArts employees left and formed Telltale, got the rights to the Sam Max games, and made, uh, and made Sam Max save, wor save the world, doing, it, doing their uh, episodic release, which is, what, which is what they are known for. Which, oh, which, which is what Telltale Games is known for. Steve Purcell, yep, there's, there's a guy who made the Sam Max. Episode 1, Culture Shock. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? <laughs> Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. All right, well... Well, first thing first... Game settings, subtitles. Why, why it? Why wasn't it on in the first place? I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, I made sure to, I made sure to tell you guys you can see my mouse here, because this is a point and click game. Let's let's interact with the dart. One of these days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Also, Max sounds weird. I think I think he changed his voice actor or something like that. But yeah. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. Uh, so, so fun, so fun thing. So, uh, Sam always calls Max uh, his little buddy. Uh, I kind of started calling my uh, dog Bailey my little buddy because of that. Anyway, let's grab the box of gloves. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Dude, let's talk to Max. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? 
You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Let's see, uh... I wonder who called. Who do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the Union. We need the phone. I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah, hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five minute increments. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel so all alone because some crook has swiped my phone. Rodent or rodents unknown. Where's my banjo, Max? I've hidden it for the good of society. Does it feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Uh, sorry, like, again, sorry if I'm not talking too much. This is a dialogue heavy game. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. I've got it. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. <laughs> all right. I think, that's, I think that's. I think I we've solved all the dialogue more. here. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, so Sam is usually the calm one, and Max is normally the uh, the violent prone one. Uh, funny, funnily enough, uh, this is kind of spoiling season three a bit, but you know what? It's only a minor plot point. Of like, because each each season has like six episodes. But uh, Sam is just as violent, if not more violent than uh, than Max, and it only and it's only shown when when uh, when Max's brain got stolen in season three. The more you know, I guess, water cooler. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Coat rack. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise. Let's see. Uh, television. Whee! Life oh, yeah. troubling your digestion. Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. Is there anything else on the television? Expel your troubles with Emetics. Nope. The handbook nope, for just... multicolored nope, happiness. Nope, it's just the same thing and again. Separate your bliss. I think I've seen this. Yep. Okay, good. It's not going through that whole thing again. Peace. Nope, nope. Separate I wouldn't... I... your bliss. There sure are a lot of commercials on this channel. Wait, wait, let me let me keep clicking on Separate your bliss. There sure are a lot of okay, commercials it's just on this channel. Move that. Okay, good. Cuz I try I try clicking there we I go. Bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still <laughs> smells like asparagus though. Also, one thing, if you if you if Max is in your way when you're walking around, I think I think he's in a terrible spot. But yeah, actually let me No dice. I think he's just gonna go talk over. Yep. Uh, let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. I'm, I'm just kind of max the sense. Okay, let's see. No comment. Let's see. Roadkill calendar. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Open, open window. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Hmm. I don't know. This guy's... Whatever graffiti's here seems, uh... In particular. Uh, nothing else here. Might as well stop looking out the window. Uh, lava lamp. I don't think I don't... Was there, was there a lava lamp in the original? I don't remember. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. <laughs> 20 years cabinet. worth of electric belts take up a surprising amount of space. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Okay, so we yep, so we got the bowling ball now. Uh, closet. Aha! Oh, there it is. Let's see. Jesse we should James have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Yep, let's just Unfortunately, work. this is not Swiss cheese. Uh, so what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. 
let's see, what's in your inventory? Aha! We have the the big the big gun. Although I'm gonna refer to the gun as the big earner, cause that's cause Sam's gun is actually in Team Fortress 2, and that's what and that's what they called it, so I'm used to calling it the big earner. But hey, you can actually But yeah, you can actually uh, pull it out, and I'm. Yep. So the solution Take here. that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent. Innocent? I think not. But now we have Swiss cheese. Voila! Swiss cheese, or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Yep. So we now have cheese. Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. I also, I also like how how the how the rat had a have a New Yorker accent. Yeah, leave, leave, leave the cheese by the hole. Wait, that's Greetings. that's kind of bad. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, That's his name. I ain't talking. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. All right, we can switch between them. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. Like anyway, yeah. Yeah, like I like Jimmy Two Teeth has a New York accent, like uh, like a, hey, I'm walk, I'm walking here, you know that sort of thing. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. Yeah, that's fair. All right, let's try making the we'll deal. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah, never happened, pig. <laughs> My partner's dangerous. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam. Eh, I can take care of myself. <laughs> oh, I can take care of myself. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. All right, well, time for Max. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Can I go now? I'll feed you broken glass. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. A hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Anyway, let's, uh... Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here. Amateurs. They're ready. Uh, did we do where we, I'll tell you parts? Ever had your peeled epidermis inflated like a party balloon? Kid stuff. A hey, dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Yep. Got a headache, eh? You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, oh really? really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled <laughs> your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! <laughs> I warn you, there I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey. Like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee oh. that. How do you, how do you swallow a phone? Hello? Yes? 
great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yay! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was the commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Uh, I, I, like, I, like, I like how, uh, actually, if we look out the window, do we see uh, Jimmy Two Teeth down there? Nope. Oh, well, worth a try. Worth a try, th then. Alrighty. Well, well, we just got to, uh, we just got to ex exit the room and we'll be out in the streets of this zany little world. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, so Sam Max actually had a, uh, actually had a, uh, what do you call it? Ooh, ooh, you can actually run. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need, run. more lame poetry. Uh, let's, let's talk to Max. But, yeah, I remember there being a, uh... Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? So balmy and sulfurous, it makes me want to feed expired food products to stray animals and homeless people. Head like a watermelon and a heart to match. That's my pal. Anyway, anyways, uh... Anyway, I, I remember the, the series actually had a TV series, like a cartoon. It only lasted for one season, but it was actually pretty good. And, again, it had some unhinged moments from both, from the two of them. Do you remember when they filmed Corkscrew Psychopath 3 here? That was a film? Boy, that explains a lot. I think I stepped in part of the city. Hopefully it was one of the parts that was dead already. Let's get cracking. Yeah! Hey, this guy's doing graffiti. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Uh, specs. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. <laughs> how about an autograph? Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. Really now? What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up. Which you just did, thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah. Yeah, so this is basically the game. It's just a lot of so talking. Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Really? really? Brady Culture? Ibo? Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary Ocular Fitness Program. Try the video today. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. Wait, wait a minute. I, wait a minute. I should have checked the... Uh... Oh, I can't switch to Max already. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time, and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and In the Way. Never saw that walker coming. Well, that's nice. Anyway, yeah, we we need to talk about his brain. Tell thing. me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? Who and what? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady culture. 
He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try I, a fried I, egg. I am starting. I am starting to Sounds get fascinating. concerned about But this. enough about that. I don't you know about you guys. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Is this art, or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. The vandalism is legal, you vandal. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. <laughs> I somehow... I somehow doubt that. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! <laughs> you missed that. Okay. Max, is that a fly in the paint there? What? No! Where? <laughs> just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next! Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. This is Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Whee! Up oh, there it is, there it is. He slept, he slept, Max. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to get concerned about this Brady culture stuff. Uh, let's, let's check the newspaper. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. Get ready. Oh. Okay, there we go. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. And well, let's, let's go to Bosco's Inconvenience, which is not convenient. Which is not a convenience store because it's inconvenient. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! <laughs> okay, of all the characters in the Sam Max universe, especially uh, these this series, I've freaking love Bosco. He's so, he's just so paranoid. Like, he's just so paranoid. <laughs> okay, let's, let's just move on. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Poe, just lock him up and throw away the jail! One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? Also, on the subject matter of Bosco, uh, in the original 2007-2006 uh, game, whatever year it came out, uh, yeah, in, in the original in the original game, uh, Bosco was voiced by a white guy, uh, even though you can see he is, uh, well, black. Uh... With it, so they recasted him with a with a different actor. I'll probably look up the uh, the, the uh, new actor's name and put it in the uh, the video. But yeah, that's a little bit of a tidbit. Now see, I'm pretty sure Sam and Max both sound different. I think there's different actors for these two as well. Honestly, they they joined they changed the voice acting in this game a lot. Like it's hard to tell what was from the original and what was uh, brand new. Exactly, what is the nature of Wizards malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Yeah, yeah uh, Bosco has got the right idea. He 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 knows that he know that uh, the Ibo thing is sketch. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. Hm. It makes no sense. I smell 
A conspiracy? I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. I like I like how I like how you can, I like how you can see his mouth moving when he's sniffing. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray. Stop health. right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. <laughs> fucking Switzerland. What? What is that? What is fucking, uh. What is fucking, uh. Uh. Joel, uh, fucking, uh, Mark Skeletor, whatever, uh, Vine Sauce Joel, it, like, is he coming after, uh, Bosco or something like that? Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way! I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. BTADS. BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe we will. At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small bladder boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. All ah, right, a rare case of reverse shoplifting. Shop dropping? Hmm, yeah, I suppose so. Okay, so that just goes through what B Tats is again. I think we got it. I think it. we got it. Okay, anything else? Uh, oh, we could order. Uh, we want to buy something. We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? Let's see. Uh, what have you got? What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Yeah, what's this oh, item? It's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that. Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. <laughs> Ooh. Alrighty. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Uh, do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Weasels on a stick? Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Wait, did I get boss? Would that, just, would that just be a just regular broadsword? Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Good. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. What? Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. <laughs> Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. Yep. Never mind. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Nice place you got here. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? 
Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. That's right. How do you get out of that cage anyway? Uh, that's for me to know and you never to find out. Yeah, that's fair. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. The, he said the line! He said the line! What were we talking about? We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Also, uh, first thing first. Pull up the gun. Hmm. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about! Clean up on aisle three! You okay, Sam? I'll need a new skull, but otherwise, no complaints. Bosco's is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. Anyway, let's check the corpse. No, thanks. Here. I brought my lunch today. <laughs> I get it. Hot weenies. Salt joke. Look, Sam. Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for Ocular Fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good, I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. All right, so we got the video. Uh, let's let's talk to we to uh, wizard. Hey here. there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard, and so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Oh shit. Well, I just realized we're out of time. This is kind of what happens when you get immersed in the game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Sorry if I wasn't talking too much. Like I said, dialogue heavy games like this, I won't be commenting too much. Like, you'll probably hear me, like, here and there, but I'm probably going to remain quiet just so people can hear the, uh, the dialogue going on. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys have a good day, afternoon, uh, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're probably going to be trying to crack down on this case a bit more. Uh, until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.